Would you like a faster way to analyze numbers or make numbers easier to digest in charts? Then watch this video to learn how to use something in Excel 2016 called the Quick Analysis Tool. Here's a table of numbers showing the sales results of an imaginary stationary company. Let's use these numbers to show you how the Quick Analysis Tool works. Each row is an order and includes the order date, the name of the sales rep, the item sold, the number of units sold, the cost of a single unit, and the total cost of the order. To use the Quick Analysis Tool, first, you select the data you want to analyze. This time, select the numbers under Unit, Unit Cost, and Total. These are columns F, G, and H. Look to the bottom right of the selection where the Quick Analysis button appears. Click on the Quick Analysis button and explore the many options. The Formatting option opens automatically. Now hover your mouse over data bars and notice that bars appear in your sales number. Each bar reflects the size of each number relative to the other numbers shown. Now hover over the color option. The colors pink, red, or green compares each number to the other. The icon set shows whether the value of the number has increased or decreased. The greater and top 10% options show where each number fits relative to other numbers. If you decide to use one of these options, all you have to do is click on it. Let's skip to the total option. We'll return to the chart option shortly. If you ever wanted mathematical calculations instantly done for you with a single click of the mouse, this option is for you. Hover your mouse over the sum across the bottom option and see your answers appear instantly at the bottom of your data. Repeat the process by hovering over average, count, percent total, and running totals and see the answers appear instantly across the bottom of your data. Hover your mouse over sum on the right and the answers appear instantly on the right end of each row. Now click the right arrow for more options where you can get answers instantly on the right for average, count, percent total, and running totals. Remember, just click the option you like if you decide to use it. Now let's take a look at the remaining quick analysis options beginning with charts. This time select the entire table of sales numbers. Now click on the charts option. Hover your mouse over each style of chart and think about which style you like best. The clustered vertical bar chart and the clustered horizontal bar chart are both used to compare values across categories. The stacked vertical chart and the stacked horizontal chart are also both used to compare parts of a whole. Click on the style you want to use. Now let's look at the table option. Here you have a table option and several pivot table options. You can watch our video tutorial number 7 if you want to know how to make a pivot table from scratch step by step. The quick analysis tool gives you a faster way to make pivot tables to analyze and make presentations on sales data. Click on the table you want to use. Next is the sparkline option. Sparklines are many charts placed in a single cell, each representing a row of data in your selection. Sparkline charts show either a line chart, column chart, or a chart showing win and lost. Remember to click on the option you want to use. Now you can start using the Quick Analysis tool in Excel 2016 to analyze your numbers and to make them come to life visually in your charts. If you still have questions about the tool, click on our coaching link and we will gladly help you. We really want to hear from you, so please send us your comments. And if you like this video, share it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to our channel and receive our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.